Breaking news, a little boy found wandering the streets alone. Police were able to get the toddler and now they are investigating what happened to him. Let's get right to KDK's Royce Jones, who is live at the police station in Braddock now. Royce. Well, Kim Christine, according to Braddock Police, that little boy was found here at this busy intersection of 6th Street and Margareta Avenues, which is one of the busiest roadways here in North Braddock. We've seen nothing but constant traffic since we've been here, including some Port Authority buses. Officers are unsure how long the two year old was roaming the streets, but they do know he was found around 2.30 p.m. A woman driving by with a small children of her own saw the little boy and moved him away from this busy intersection. I'm told and immediately called 911. Police tell me that the woman stayed the entire time and said that the little boy was so frantic that he refused to leave her side when the cops showed up. And while all of this, uh, while all of them went back to the police station, excuse me, officers went to that little boy's home and brought the grandfather who was watching the boy back to the police station in custody, where he reportedly told police that he wasn't sure how that boy got out, but said the door was broken. Now, the one of the re responding officers tells me that there was just no justifiable excuse for anything that happened here today. If you're a parent and you're and you're in charge of watching a child, I, I know people in this borough that work three and four jobs, okay, to make ends meet, and they know where their children are at 24/7. And this child was left to wander the streets, a dangerous intersection, and it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Now, officers were not able to confirm who has legal custody of this little boy, but tonight we do know that he is back home with his grandparents and his mother, and that whenever officers did go and uh, respond to this scene, that little boy was in good condition. There was no sign of harm or injury, but officers did say that we avoided a major incident here in Braddock today because of how busy this intersection was and that one step out into the street could have been extremely dangerous. Officers tell me that CYF is now investigating and police are pursuing charges of their own. Reporting live in Braddock, Royce Jones, KDKA News.